So she sends him a letter explaining her plan, and he writes back, and she's upset at his response. He has absolutely no issues with her going to France, but nothing in his letter indicated that he believed himself possessed in any way of the slightest control over her actions. Like, my lady, it is the 1800s. You have got a rich husband who is generous with his money, seems to genuinely care about your comfort, and is being totally fine with you making independent decisions and plans. And you are complaining that he isn't being more controlling. 